Number eight from the 2007 Higher Maths Paper 1. Here we've got a slightly longer question because there's nine marks in this one. There's certainly an area and there's also with this cubic, there's going to be solving or factorising a cubic expression. But the first part is what? Show that the graph cuts the x-axis at 3, 0. Well, if it's saying cuts the x-axis, if you cut the x-axis, that means that y must equal 0. In which case, this expression must equal 0. So this is the equation I'm trying to solve. And it's saying that 3, 0 is a point on the x-axis, so it's saying that 3 is a solution. So you can either put 3 into this and show the answer comes to 0, which we do, but then since I want to factorise it afterwards, I could do that the other way by using synthetic division. I'll put that over here. Remember, it's not part of the working, so it doesn't appear there anyway. So using synthetic division, I'd have 1, negative 4, 1, 6. Remember, synthetic division's got two purposes. You can use it as a division to find if you've got a factor, because the number at the end will be the remainder, but it also evaluates the expression at the same time. If I want to know the value of this expression at any number, put that number in here, and the answer at the end will be the value of that. So if it's saying that 3 is a root of this, and that it gives the answer of 0, I'll just check that. So add down multiply up, add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up, and there it is indeed. You get an answer of zero. Now it's a case of the interpretation here. I've got an answer of zero which says this. The value at x equals three is zero, which means that x equals three is a root which means it cuts the x-axis at 3, 0. Notice it was the roots and values I was using here rather than the factors and remainders. B. Hence or otherwise, find the coordinates of A. Well, it's going to be the hence way, since I did this, if I'd simply substituted 3 into that to arrive at the value of 0, then I'd have to start again, but I've already done the work here. So I can from here state straight away. Maybe I'll just be put a wee careful note down. x equals 3 is a root, means x minus 3 is a factor. Maybe I'm just being a wee bit too careful with the bubble wrap there, putting that statement down. I could probably just go and stay in with this x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0 means I've got x minus 3 times x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Factorise this if it factorises. It is paper 1, so hopefully it will factorise because I want to be using the formula. It must be x times x, it must be 1 times 2, negative to the bigger, that's opposite, that all works out, which means my solutions are x equals, in order, negative 1, then 2, then 3. From the roots in the diagram, that identifies A as the second, so A is the second intersection, which means A must be the point 2, 0. Part C, find the shaded area. Well, I know that cuts it too now. So the area I'm looking for is going to be the area starting at 0 and finishing at 2 of this expression here. That being the heights of little strips that are going to form that area. So x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 dx. So it's just a case of go through it all. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power. Add 1 to the power 4. Divide by 4, but I prefer just to have a coefficient. Add 1 to the power, so that goes up to 3. Divide by that power, so 4 up and 3. Add 1 to the power, so that goes up to 2. Divide by that 2, so that's a half. Add 1 to the power, so it was power 0, so it goes up to the linear term x. Evaluated at 2 and evaluated at 0. Now the tedious bit. So, all the substitutions. A quarter of 2 to the power 4. 4 upon 3 times 2 to the power 3. 
a half of 2 squared and 6 times the 2 minus, now the rest of these are all going to be zeros, so I'm just assuming it's safe just to put zeros in. Don't be too hasty putting the zeros in, it's okay in this term because, in this case, because they're just separate x's in all the terms. Watch if it's trigonometrical, or if you've got the function of a function type, where the expressions might have something like 2x minus 1 squared, for instance. Don't just knock that down to zero. In this case, it's simple, because it's just lone x's. Now, what's this going to be? Well, there I've got 2 to the power 4, but knocking out two of them, so it must just be 4. Here I've got 8 times 4 is 32, but unfortunately upon 3. Here I've got 2 knocking out one of them, so that's just 2, and there's 12. So putting the numbers together, I've got 6, 18, 18 take away 32 upon 3. Then, which way will I make it in mixed number? Well, it's easier with a mixed number, because that's just 10 and 2 thirds. Take away 10 and 2 thirds. Taking away 10 would be 8. Take away another one to allow for the 2 thirds to come off, leaves me 7 and a third. 7 and a third square units for the area. Or if you prefer, you could say 21, 22 upon 3 square units.